When is the best time to introduce a pacifier to your baby? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends pacifier use starting at one month of age up to one year of age. So they recognize that that first month of a baby's life needs to be focused on learning how to breastfeed. And feeding is a skill for a baby, so we don't always think about that. But there are a lot of different movements that come into play for a baby to latch on and then effectively use their tongue and their cheeks and their lips to hold on, suck, and swallow. So because this is a new skill that your baby is learning, we do recommend waiting until your baby is really good at feeding before introducing a pacifier. Now, really good, I'm putting in quotes here because that's gonna be different for every single baby. Sometimes they'll catch on as quickly as two weeks. Sometimes it takes more like six weeks. So whatever that is for you and your baby. And the reason for that is because a pacifier is not shaped at all like a nipple. It's long, it's narrow, it's rubbery. And so when a baby uses their mouth on a pacifier, it's more in like a just up, down, chewy, chompy motion. And it's also very narrow, kind of like how your lips would be if you're slurping spaghetti. But when we want a baby to latch on the breast, it's more wide of the angle of their mouth. Wide like taking a bite on an apple. That's what you're looking for in that corner. And when their mouth is on the breast, then their tongue is working in more of a wave-like motion. That's what we want your baby to do. When the tongue drops at the front of their mouth, it allows milk to come in. And then as their tongue waves backwards, then it allows the milk to then slide down their throat so they can swallow comfortably and coordinate suck, swallow, and breathe. So if a baby is taking the same idea of chewy chompy and narrow and shallow on a pacifier and they apply that to a breast, then they're more likely to go chewy chompy, narrow, slurpy like a pacifier, which creates more pain for the mom and not a super great feeding for the baby. So when is the point when your baby is eating so well that you can start to add in a pacifier? Well, that means when you pick up your baby and you're not thinking so much about it. You latch your baby on, get comfortable, and then move on to multitask. That's when you're not working so hard at it. And your baby's at the point where they can mostly stay on by themselves and you're not so intently focused like you are in the first day. So however that timing is, though the recommendation is about one month, that's also the time when baby is more coordinated at feeding, so you can start a pacifier, which means that's also the best time to add in a bottle. If you didn't have to start that at the beginning, then this is the best time to teach your baby how to do a bottle. Now I get a lot of questions about, well, what if the baby is just really fussy? And what if the baby is just awake all night and I just can't get them to relax? Well, my answer is latch your baby at breast first and think about it from their perspective. So when they were in the womb, everything was cozy and all their needs were met. They were warm, they were safe. Their tummy was never hungry. If they ever felt like their tummy was getting a little empty, all I had to do was open their mouths, swish side to side to get a mouthful of amniotic fluid, close, swallow, and be done. So now they're in your arms, breathing air, learning how to eat for themselves. And all of this is brand new. So they could be fussy because of emotions. They could be fussy because now they have to work for their food. It could be that they're a little bit cold. It could be that they just want comfort. So they're going from being held all those months to then separated. And I just think that can be really scary for babies. So my first answer for a fussy baby is going to be skin to skin. And then make sure that they're taking a real Really good, adequate quality feeding. Now, if they slow down at your breast to just the short light suckles and no more slow, strong drinking sucks, but they just kind of want to chew, then I would say that's an appropriate time to give a pacifier. But make sure that it's not masking hunger cues and make sure that you're getting good quality feedings first. So you're not stopping them from getting that. And I have seen that a lot of babies are just chewers. And it also looks like as they grow up, they become those grown-ups who are always chewing gum. So the patterns that they have in the beginning are the same patterns that they have as they grow. The bottom line about pacifiers is make sure that you're establishing good feeding skills first and then add it in as you feel like you want to. And using the pacifier is absolutely a parent choice. And when you deliver at an Intermountain Hospital, you will get a handout about those pacifier facts and reiterating the same information.